Hello, I'm your Psych 12 and today we'll actually be going over week 7's lecture. This week we learned about survey research, proper question, and how to get accurate responses. First of all, what is a survey? A survey, or it can also be called a poll, is a way that researchers question research participants with interviews or questionnaires. Surveys can take place in person, on paper, or electronically. Surveys are self-report measures, so it's necessary that researchers pay careful attention to how everything is being represented in a survey in order to ensure that a high construct validity is maintained throughout the experiment. In terms of questioning format, we have to observe open-ended questions and closed-ended questions. An open-ended question is a question that has a prompt but does not restrict what the participants respond with. In fact, an open-ended question allows the participants to reply any way they want without any limits. There is no set yes or no response. For example, a researcher might ask participants about their favorite memory from high school. The ability to talk, the, this ability to talk about whatever the participants feel is important is a great advantage of, an op of open-ended questions. But a major flaw of open-ended questions is that it is hard to measure the exact subject that a researcher is attempting to study since the answers vary a lot. On the other hand, we have a close-ended question. A close-ended question is a question that limits people's response by making them choose between previously specified options, such as yes or no. For example, a researcher asks a group of participants which color they prefer the most, but only gives them red, blue, and yellow as possible answers. This has numerous advantages such as not having to score responses and participants give answers that are related to what the, re the researcher is actually measuring. But it has a major disadvantage in the fact that it may not truly align with what the participant truly thinks. To further expand on the top on this topics, let's look at what are, what are bad questions in research. Bad questions are questions that can skew the way that participants respond, which will also skew the data. There are numerous types of bad questions. There are leading questions, which are questions that introduce bias by insinuating that one response is better than another. There's also a double barrel question, which is a question that asks two separate questions simultaneously. And the flaw with this type of question is that there's no way to know which of the questions the participant is replying to. There are also negatively rewarded questions, which as the name implies uses negations such as not, never, shouldn't, wouldn't, and, subscri and subscri subsequently makes it other for the participants to understand the true question being asked. Although this is not a specific question type, it's important to note that the way that questions are ordered can also skew the participants' responses. Now I'll be looking at how participants may respond to a survey. Specifically, we'll, we'll be looking at what response sets are. The term response sets, which is also known as non-differentiation, -differ refers to when participants try to make the process go by, go by faster by treating all the questions the same or answering in a manner that doesn't reflect their true opinions. There's acquiescence, where the participants is just agreeing to each question without critically thinking about the response. There's fencing, where the participant keeps giving an answer that does not pick any size and is just completely neutral. In order to solve for responses, researchers can do numerous things. Firstly, they can remove neutral options, forcing participants to make a choice which gets rid of fencing. By implementing anonymous responses, participants are able to state what they truly believe without caring about how the researchers perceive them. To re reverse word questions, people are forced to not rush through the questions and actually cr critically think about the response. Lastly, by making questions easy for participants to understand and answer, it is then possible for participants to comprehend questions better. That is all for this week. Thank you.